Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending upon which time of the day you are watching this video. दोस्तों ये वीडियो जी एडवांस एस्पिरेंट्स के लिए है इस वीडियो में मैं एक ऐसा कंसेप्ट बताने वाला हूं जिसके बारे में शायद ही कोई जेई एडवांस मैथमेटिक्स फैकल्टी अपने क्लास में डिस्कस करता होगा आ, शायद ये कंसेप्ट बहुत को पता भी नहीं है और अगर पता है भी तो आई थिंक दिस इज अ वेरी क्लोजली गार्डेड सीक्रेट ये एक ऐसा कंसेप्ट है जो कि ना केवल मैथ्स में इस्तेमाल होता है बट की फिजिक्स में भी काफी इसके एप्लीकेशन देखे गए हैं तो आइए जानते हैं ये ऐसा कौन सा सीक्रेट है जो मैं इस वीडियो में आपको मैं बताने वाला हूं तो इस वीडियो को अंत तक देखिए और बने रहिए लेट्स से देर इज अ फंक्शन ओके दिस फंक्शन इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ लेट्स से एक्स वाई एंड वाई डैश ओके व्हाट इज दिस फंक्शन आई डोंट नो ओके I don't know what is this function, but I know for sure it's a function which has an x, which has an y, which has a derivative of y with respect to s. Of course, constants can also be there. Now I know for sure that the integral of this function. So I integrate this function, let's say with respect to x, between two quantities, x one and x two, two finite quantities, x one and x two, two fixed quantities, x one and x two. and i know that this result is an extremum this result is an extremum okay extremum means i know that this result is a maximum or a minimum okay then can i find this function out can i find this function out which basically satisfies this condition that the integral of this function okay with respect to x from x1 to x2 is a value which is maxima or a minima okay so can i find this out now uh, just to make this uh, question more clear to you i'll give you a simple example okay so let's say there is a particle which wants to travel from a to b okay and now this particle can travel from a to b in various ways it can take a path like this it can take a path like this or it can take a path like this Now, if I ask you the simple question, that which of these three paths is the shortest? Now you'll say the path which I made with that tuck 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 sound, that is this dotted yellow line, that would be the shortest path, right? But can you prove it? Yes, intuitively it seems to be the shortest path, but can we prove it? Now this problem basically is solved by no or uh, is very similar to what i am trying to explain here with respect to this integral so basically what is the length of this arc so let's say if i know this curve if i know this curve okay let's say this curve is y is equal to some g of x okay now what i am trying to find out i am trying to find out the shortest path that means first i have to find out the length of this path so length of this path let's say is s is given by 1 plus g dash x the whole square integral with respect to x from let's say this is a point x1 y1 and this is a point x2 y2 so basically i have to integrate this from x1 to x2 okay and i want this s to be the shortest i want this s to be the shortest my dear shortest means it must have the minimum length right so what is this path right does it come out to be a straight line if yes how do i find that out so to find this out long long ago a famous mathematician called euler okay euler leonard euler the famous swiss mathematician he gave a very interesting condition and that condition is called the euler's equation so euler's equation says that for any function f of x of y of y dash let's say this function is a multivariate function the integral for that function to be an extremum the condition is the condition is do f by do y Minus d by dx of do f by do y dash 
should be zero. In the interest of time, I will not be deriving this result, but you can definitely find it out if you Google it. So I'll be just using this result to show that this path that happens to be of the shortest length will be a straight line. Okay, so let's go for it. So here, this becomes my function. Okay, for the purpose of simplicity, I'm going to write, I'm going to write g dash as y dash, right? So that we can, you know, solve for this okay so now this expression will be my f of x y y dash correct so putting under this euler format do f by do y is zero because as you can see in this function there is no y so partial derivative of f with respect to y would be zero minus d by dx of do f by do y dash is zero okay which clearly implies that do f by do y dash must be a constant, must be a constant, right? Now, do f by do y dash, if you find this out, it will come out to be y dash by under root of 1 plus y dash square. And let's say this is a constant. Let me call that constant as, uh, let's say, capital M, okay? So let's square both the sides. So y dash square is m square times 1 plus y dash square. Let us make y dash the subject of the formula. So first of all, I'll get something like this. Okay. And so this simplifies to y dash square is equal to m square by 1 minus m square. So y dash will be plus minus m by under root of 1 minus m square. Now, this is another constant. Let me call it as m. Let me call this as m. Okay. So now, here we see that y dash, y dash comes out to be m, right? So this is a simple differential equation to solve, which will give you y is equal to mx plus c. Thereby signifying that this path that the, you have to take from A to B, in order to be minimum, it has to be along a straight line, right? So Euler's equation is a very, very good methodology. It's a very, very, you know, you can say potent tool uh, to solve questions which are related to calculus of variation. And this could also be used to solve the famous Brachistron problem. Right? If you don't know what's the problem, the problem is, let's say, if a body is falling under gravity without any friction between two points A to B, what should be the path taken so that it takes the least amount of time? So that type of problem can easily be solved by the use of Euler's equation. Okay, So keep learning and keep practicing. See you.